Let us therefore now also understand the distinction between a sale and a consignment. What is a sale? When goods are sold by one person to another, ownership of the goods is transferred. The title of the goods is transferred. After the goods are sold, any expenses incurred by the buyer has to be borne by him. The risk is his. If goods are lost, he bears. Who? The buyer bears the loss. But in case of consignment, there is no such transfer of property. So what is the difference? Transfer of ownership. Basically, there is transfer of ownership and there is no transfer of ownership in case of consignment. This is the basic fundamental difference between sale and consignment. When there is a sale, the relationship between the seller and the buyer is that of a creditor and a debtor. Seller and a buyer. But that in case of consignment is that of a principal and an agent. An agent will work on behalf of the principal. The agent will follow the directions of the principal. In a sale transaction, goods sold cannot be returned. There could be an agreement for a sales return, but basically property has title of ownership has passed on to the buyer. But when goods are sent to the consignee, they continue to be the property of the consigner. If the consignee is not able to sell the goods, these would obviously be returned to the consigner. But if a trader, if a buyer has bought the goods and he is not able to resell the goods, he cannot really return these goods to the original seller. The buyer bears the loss of goods after delivery. Once the goods are bought, if there is any loss, loss of goods in transit, loss of goods due to fire, whatever, these have to be borne by the buyer. But since property, title has not been transferred to the consignee, if goods are lost even in the go-down of the consignee, who bears the losses? The consigner will bear the loss because the goods still continue to be the consigners. Expenses which are incurred by the buyer for safeguarding the goods. So if he insures the goods, if the buyer after buying insures the goods, it is the buyer's expense. But when the consignee receives goods from the consigner, the consignee may also insure these goods so as to safeguard them. But these expenses would be reimbursed by the consignment. So the fundamental difference between sale and consignment is that there is, there is transfer of ownership in case of sale, but there is no transfer of ownership in consignment. Physically, goods move in both a sale transaction as well as a consignment transaction. But the goods which are physically moved to the go-down of the consignee continue to belong to the consigner. They should be shown as consignment stock in the books of the consigner. They have no place in the books of the consignee. They do not belong to the consignee. They continue to be the goods of the consigner.